6,245 pounds. This is the ever popular 274 bunkhouse Cherokee by Forest River here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If you see anything you like, you'd like to learn more about it, you'd like to learn total length or tank capacities or price tags free of hidden fee charges, by the way, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Suffice to say, uh, we have real, genuine, true pricing on our site. Uh, we don't charge extra for hidden fees like destination and prep charges at Halet RV. Uh, we also include, you know, things like showing you how it works and giving it a bath and all that. All the things you, the trailer should get and you should get as a customer, you get as part of our price tag. No monkeying around. So, um, this is, uh, the most popular bunkhouse floor plan from Forest River's most popular series of travel trailers. It's pretty impressive, but uh, what, what is it that's making it happen that way? Um, this, by the way, is a, a near clone to its own sister, the Grey Wolf. Uh, the Grey Wolf is part of the Cherokee family of trailers, and in terms of equipment and amenities, they're, uh, they're a virtual identical part for part match. There's a few small details that are different between them, nothing that I think is really earth shattering. I'll point those out as we go. Um, so if you like this, but we happen to be sold out, Give our team a call, visit our website, and remember that the one here in this video might not be the exact one that we have in stock. So definitely verify before you go driving across the country because people do that every day. We are Michigan's largest standalone RV dealer, and we make deals happen and it ain't to the local clientele exclusively. Uh, there's just no way we could support our level of sales locally only. So long distance folks, you're what we do every day. Hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, this is what we do. So. Back to the original question, why are these guys so successful? Well, stuff like this, innovations and uh, features that are outside of the general mindset of a conventionally constructed stick-built trailer, those things are, I think, really what has helped catapult Cherokee forward to being one of the most successful brands out there. Now, there's also a lot of, it's not just fancy features, it's quality control things. Like, they, uh, they're, um, Exposed wood around a, a door jam, they, uh, they they treat that heavily with an anti-wicking material so that if there is any moisture around that door, like if it's drizzly or something, you need to get in and out of that cargo pocket, you're not going to get soft, rotten, swollen, smelly wood, you know? They, they do the extra things you need to do to keep a camper in better shape longer. Uh, like this aluminum nose sweep. These guys are true trendsetters in the business at this point, and you see a lot of travel trailers like this have an aluminum nose front. It's because of Cherokee. It's also extra thick. The entire nose is uh, superior structurally because it deflects wind, it deflects stones, it's a thicker skin. The whole nose is basically the same thickness as any trailer's diamond plate down here. Now they still leave a diamond plate even though they don't need to so that you know customers who aren't as well educated understand. Plus it looks good this way, it just looks good that way. Um, also, aluminum painted is not going to have the chalk fade issues of a fiberglass. Well, what a fiberglass could. Now, if you properly take care of any RV, you shouldn't have to worry about any of that. But this is built better to have reduced levels of maintenance. In this class, you don't always get uh, an outside shower with hot and cold water. They also have, uh, on average, the largest windows in their class. They put the biggest windows they can pretty much everywhere. And it's very noticeable in the super slide as well as the bedroom. Now, under the rear bunks here, we have a very large storage pocket. I'll walk up there in a second. I just want to give everybody a look at this thing from the rear corner here. Um, but uh, tell me when more storage is ever the wrong answer. And I'm going to disagree because more storage is never the wrong answer. Now. There's other neat things that could be done, but storage is never the wrong answer. Um, so that's that's the size of the lower bunk. It's completely unobstructed. Some brands will put things like a water heater back here. and There's nothing wrong with doing that. It just means that they may have storage elsewhere. This is how Cherokee decided to do it, and it's proving extremely popular. And I think it's because this is the utility corner of the trailer. This is where we have power and sewer hookups. This is where you want to keep those handy little things like that. So they're not eating up your front storage compartment, which is where you're going to put your camping stuff, not your utility stuff. We are backup camera prepped here like almost every trailer nowadays. Um, a lot of people ask us, why don't you put the cameras on? Well, we can. We've got our full Halet RV parts and service center right over there with all of our service bays and techs and staff and men and women working hard for you every day. Um, but suffice to say, we can install the exact same camera you get from the factory at exactly the same dollars here at our store. 
So some people who don't want it aren't paying for it. You know, we're not, we're not gonna penalize those who don't want it for the benefit of those that do. We're not one percenters at our store. We try to take care of everybody best we can. So the folding cargo rack in the back, about a 200-ish pound capacity, perfect for bikes, coolers, all that stuff. You don't have to take the spare tire off to flip that down. Now, surprisingly to me, despite the level of appointment on this trailer with all the packages we have on it, a spare tire is actually still optional. You'll notice that we put a spare tire on our campers every single time though. Um, our, our logic is we look at a spare tire the same way we look at health insurance. I really hope you never, never have to have a health insurance claim, but don't you want that protection there in the event of a need? That's, that's the idea. Um, so direct entry bathroom doors, they've uh, become, uh, instead of something new and interesting in the business, they've become rank and file and commonplace. And it's become like a, a, a something that people frame their purchase around because it's so nice for getting the kids in and out of the camper without them walking through the entire trailer to get to a rear bathroom. They can go straight to the bathroom. That means they can get in here. They can get hosed off if they've been in the lake, uh, you know, because we got our shower right here. I got some wicked morning backlight going on. Um, you know, you have easy access to the bathroom, for, especially for traveling or even at your campsite because the, the, the bathroom and the refrigerator are the two reasons people are in and out of the camper. Now, for shy guys and gals, remember, you've got a deadbolt lock right here, just like you have over there. So this is actually more private than the interior camper door that nobody ever worries about. Isn't that odd? Now, um, the difference between a Cherokee and a Grey Wolf, I said they almost don't exist. The only significant difference is that the Cherokee has a higher riding chassis due to the fact that it has a floor flush slide out whereas the Grey Wolf rides a little lower to the ground because it has a step-in slide-out. Now what that means is Cherokees have three steps and Grey Wolves have two. It also means that Grey Wolves have completely carpetless main decks. This has minimal carpet main deck. It's a slight difference. Other than that, they are so much more similar than not, it's not even funny. Like if you were inside of one and opened your eyes, you'd have to really know what you're looking for to see which one you were in. And I believe that there's people that can do that because uh, I'm very impressed the, the level of education we've provided uh, to our customers here at Halet RV via these videos and time that you spend speaking with their salesmen, I'm very impressed at how uh, progressed and educated the RV market has become as compared to a few years ago. So good for you guys. That's good for so many reasons. So um, if you choose to add a TV, you can float it between the living room uh, and outside here. You've got matching mounts. The TV would connect to these plugs down there. Now we've got a full blue LED light under the awning, which seems odd, and you'll have matching blue lights behind these speakers. I don't have them turned on right now because I have a problem with never remembering to turn on outside lights. Kind of like I have a problem remembering to take out the garbage Monday mornings. I don't know why I struggle to do that, regardless. Um, you'll get to see kind of what I'm talking about inside. So at night, this whole thing glows a nice soft blue, and it lets you navigate the whole campsite, no problem. But it doesn't attract bugs like a bright white light, so that's a, a handy little thing. Now this is one of those um, Cherokee innovations that the rest of the industry hasn't quite caught on yet, and they probably have it patented because the guys at Cherokee are pretty smart like that. This is a mini outside camp kitchen. Um, what it is, is under the kitchen countertop, there's a corner of the cabinetry here that's really hard to get to. Now, they could have technically put a door on the side of the countertop to kind of get to it, but it never would have been useful or convenient. You know, it would have been good for like occasional use. This is something you're gonna use every single day. So, remember how I said that the toilet and the fridge are the two reasons people are in and out of the trailer? Well, guess what? We just took the, the two primary reasons people track dirt through your camper and cause you to stop camping and start cleaning and put them right outside so it's not an issue anymore. Now we're getting this handy little slide out cooktop burner, but if you don't care about cooking there, it's very easy. You could put something on top of this to make it just like a slide out countertop. Now, instead of an outside sink, because they didn't want to muck with the plumbing and add an extra gray tank, what they did here is you've got this outside utility shower and it's uh, hot and cold, everything just like you normally get. And they have what I call the little dog bowl. And there it's, uh, you know, you could have a fancy drain sink and whatnot, but this is functional and it works and you can wash your hands up or clean up some dishes or something real quick. It's, it's really handy having that right here. And notice the TV, the kitchenette, all that's right under the awning. The awning's covered by the main entry door. So this is rainy day or tailgate central. This is, I guarantee you, when you're camping, everyone's gonna be right here every single time. Now, the big steps. 
you probably have noticed that by now. The idea behind these is just like the big fifth wheels. And once again, Cherokee <laughs> bringing some industry firsts. This is a, a, a industry first in the stick built trailer business. They went huge on this. Even their little wolf pup single axle campers have this. And the idea here is this, you can literally jump on these things and they don't buckle. And then also, even without the jacks down, this trailer didn't rock and roll an inch with me jumping on it as a, I don't know, 190 pound guy right now. My weight fluctuates, I gotta get that back under control. Anyway, the point here is that this is more sturdy, stable, it doesn't cause seasickness. That's why they also have the bigger entry handle for easy come and go. When it flips up, it's completely clear. You don't have a step well that can now get exposed to road salts and sprays and damage and corrosion. You know, it's it's just not gonna fail. It's You're gonna have to really go out of your way to screw this up. It also has adjustable foot pegs. So if you're on a very uneven campsite, this thing can always have good ground contact. A little solar quick connect plug there. And you probably saw that big pass-through storage when I was first yammering on about how much I like the Cherokees here at Haylitz. But I do want to point out that this has a very wide, very tall baggage compartment to get like um, real chairs, like those zero gravity chairs uh, that we carry here at the store instead of the bag chairs and a friction hinge door. So you can just heave this thing and it still doesn't slam. You know, very nice when the kids walk out and just flip the door open like that. Uh, so stepping inside here, again, the, the sister to this is the Great Wolf 26 DBH, and we carry both here at the store. They're both great floor plans. It's two versions of the same thing. It's, it's like when you go to the, the store and you're like, why are there six versions of vanilla ice cream? Well, we carry two nearly identical versions in that sense. Um, so uh, they're going to share decors. They share equipment. And uh, in case you're curious, this is the color they come in, guys. They're, it's all neutral. It's all earth tones. It's very safe. It's also very high contrast between lights and darks. And that makes this thing look and feel very nice and large and comfortable inside. Now, uh, remember again, it is possible that the one we have in stock could be equipped somehow differently from this. This is how our preferred equipment loadout. Um, however, it is possible that there's something different on the one we have in stock. Always call, always verify. Um, you know, it's just, it's not worth gas money on a guess. So remember I was talking about LED lights under the awning. You've also got LED lights over the slide out here. And this is kind of what I mean. Even during the day, you've got a pretty solid beam of light here. Now imagine at night under an awning or at night against a white ceiling, this is going to glow and it will cast enough light here that you can really navigate the RV to get to the, the refrigerator, the toilet, all that stuff at night. So big super slide again with maximum sized windows. They put the biggest possible windows they could in this thing. Um, you will see the sofas. A lot of people have these fold down armrest sofas. Again, Cherokee was first to market with that for a year, my friends. These, I've been really happy offering these because they are very progressive in what is traditionally a very, um, I don't want to say regressive, but classic class, you know? People, manufacturers don't usually get too excited about their, their stick built trailers. But look at this. So, Everybody else started copying this thing because Cherokee made it so popular. So Cherokee said, forget that. We're going to be a step better. We're going to put lights in this thing so you can see. We've got a USB plug right here on both of those cup holders so you can keep your phones charged. Now, we've got more USB plugs there for the dinette. We've got USB plugs for each bed. And I do mean each bunk and both sides of the master bed. So there's like 10, 12, whatever plugs in here to keep your devices charged. Good Lord, there's even more over here. Um, and I like that. You know, I've got the silly smartwatch. I've, you know, we've all got the smarty pants phones. Even if you don't have a smartphone, you can still USB charge stuff. It's just extremely handy. And again, this is normally a, a segment of the market that is very safe, very scaled down, very low budget. This is a stick built trailer with high level amenities. And don't let the fact that it's stick built compared to laminated make you think it's lesser quality in any way. There's no difference in quality between stick built and laminated construction. They each have different benefits. And if you'd like to know what that means, all you have to do is give our team here at Halet RV a call. We are all factory trained. I'm not the only guy here that knows my way around a trailer. I encourage you, before you go spending a bunch of money, give our team a call and an opportunity. Um, you know, what's the worst that happens? You don't buy a trailer from us and you're no worse off than where you were initially? You know, what if we could have saved you a bunch of money? Well, that's a big what if. And we do it all the time. So I know it's not what if, it's just when. All we need is the opportunity. Anyway, 
full true Udinet, and we've got the full extension 40 inch m -m -m mega drawers. You know, you've got full extension, full bench access to these things. So if people are sleeping, sitting at the dinette, you don't have to tear apart all of the cushions and everything to get there. Now we are walking on a 5 8 tongue and groove plywood. We've got 12 inch on center, two by three floor studs. This actually has a pretty industry impressive, uh, a normal trailer, a normal constructed uh, stick built trailer has 16 inch on center wall studs. Not everyone cares about construction. Some people do. If you don't like it, just skip ahead. I'm sorry if it's boring. Cherokee on average has 12 inch on center wall studs. But their weights aren't crazy because they, I mean, they're they're reasonable about how they build things. It's just really impressive. Now, we've got 16-inch on center uh, roof trusses with a 3 8 walk-on roof deck. I've had people say, um, well, I can't believe you can't even walk on the roof. And I'm like, what do you mean you can't walk on the roof? It's rated for 2,800 pounds. And they say, well, it doesn't have a ladder. That means you can't walk on it. That's old thinking. That used to be very true. It's just not true anymore. It's just not, you know? Um... The, uh, okay, so we talked about the plugs. I like the extra window for light up here. Each bed has its own uh, light. Now you can see we've got a built-in bunk ladder, so you don't have to throw Junior or the Princess to the upper bed, you know? Um, we'll come back to the kitchen. The bathroom real quick. They have done an awesome job in this bathroom. It's something that they have really, really made like their thing in the last couple of years. So it starts with the fact that we have a big skylight and a power vent fan. And it's a bigger skylight, and it's a bigger power vent fan. That huge fan can give you a six mile an hour breeze through this trailer um, when the windows are open. Now we've got the protective shower surround paneling. Some brands can save money by not including that, which there's nothing wrong with it not being there. There actually are advantages, disadvantages either way. Again, if you'd like to learn what that means, just definitely give our guys a call. We've actually done videos on that in our YouTube channel, if you're curious. We'll send you the link. Um, foot flush toilet with plenty of room around it. Now, over here, we've got waterproof countertops. And you'll see waterproof table and countertops. This is sealed edge. There's no seams where water can sink in there. You'll see that repeated in the kitchen and even the tabletop. Um, huge medicine cabinet. They've got the largest in-class medicine cabinets and sinks. Um, and, you know, generally fans. In, this, in a stick-built trailer, you don't usually get bigger fans. So they've got a best-in-class bathroom going on here. And remember, that dual entry door, you do have, um, uh, what am I wanting to say? deadbolt privacy on that. So backing up, let me back up a little bit here to give you just a little more of a look from another direction. We're going to look at the Cherokee Super Kitchen, as they call it. It starts with this skylight up here to let in a flood of light. That's part of one of the multiple upgrade bundles. Like there's the campfire package, the limited package, the what base camp package or something. I don't know. They changed the names this year, but this thing's loaded. This is one of the most highly equipment appointed loaded things in its class. But because they do this in such high quantities, and I, I, they can get huge parts buys on things, you know? So the Super Kitchen starts here. Now we flow over this direction. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six big, bright LED lights in this one condensed space to really brighten up this kitchen so you can see what you're doing when you're prepping. Now, as we look down, I want to point out that dual LED lights inside a stovetop hood, I, I have seen that in almost no other brands in the entire industry. But here again, you're seeing something that is above the standard of a luxury fifth wheel in what is considered an entry-level unit, just because it's stick-built. This is not an entry-level unit. This is a very high-equipped, very classy coach. Um, so we've got a real tile backsplash also. And you'll see, actually, that same matching tile is right around the, the sink um, in the bathroom. So they gave it some nice cohesion. Now, normally... This floor plan wouldn't have spit for um, prep space, but because it's a waterproof countertop, they could recess the stove. They could recess this giant stainless sink. And you can see that we've got a fit flush mount cover. So now suddenly we have all the prep space in the world, and this actually, that can take an impact. You can set a heavy bag of groceries on that. You can set a platter full of meat or, or drinks that you just cooked or brought in from the grocery store on that thing. It's not going anywhere. This is also a pull-out sprayer faucet. And I like that we've got a little viewing window here. When you hear one of the kids outside crying because Billy kicked Jenny, you can look out here and be like, hey, knock it off, and then scare him because that's always funny. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I like hiding around corners and spooking my daughter because there's something about when you scare a kid, man, whoop, they go airborne. <laughs> I'm so terrible, but it's so funny. I mean, you can judge me if you want. We've all done it, and you're going to do it again. 
let's be honest with one another. Anyway, so not an ounce of storage really gone to waste here. You know, they've opened up everything they could and just something different, but I like it. I like different, you know. That's why we carry different brands of travel trailers here at Halet RV. We are super cross-branded. It doesn't matter what you're looking for. We either carry it or we probably carry a sister to it if, if we're talking travel trailers. It's crazy. Um, so instead of three, well, two sometimes, two or three little drawers, they give you two big drawers. You can actually put big stuff in here. And this is one of those small little differences that I think people don't appreciate until they don't have it anymore. I think if you have a Cherokee or a Grey Wolf and then you trade it off, your next camp you're going to be like, oh, man, I can't fit that flashlight in there anymore and, and stuff like that. Like, you're going to... You won't really notice how nice this is until it's gone. Now, I almost glossed over one of the best parts of this kitchen. That's this big mega pantry. This is an awesome... Wow, this video's going long. I just looked at the time. I better pick it up. Um, huge pantry, anyway. It's bigger than the refrigerator. It's, it's, it is as wide and literally taller. It's a six and a half foot by, I don't know, two and a half, three foot wide pantry. Huge, huge storage capacity. Now, you could use that for food, kids' clothes, whatever. It only does everything. Um... Talked about the sofa, we talked about all that, we talked about the lights. Okay, entertainment center. One of the only other differences at all, because remember, Cherokee has a floor flush slide, so you don't have the big toe kick, a gray wolf has a step up. Other than that, they're the same. Um, Cherokees have actual swinging doors instead of sliding pocket doors. Some people just prefer one over the other. Some people prefer blue bunny ice cream instead of briars. I don't care what your flavor is, because we carry both. So I can be very um, non-biased about this. Now, the swinging doors are nice because they have a good solid feel to them. The sliding pocket doors are nice because you don't have to swing them open and maybe take a step back. Some people are like, oh, I have to take a step back. We're going into the bedroom. That's not okay. I, I don't, I'm not judging. That's You spend your money how you want to. If that's not acceptable for you, you shouldn't buy that camper or this camper or whatever. But we've got one of everything here at Halet RV, and we only do everything at Halet RV. So it doesn't matter what you want, what you need, etc. So remember, the TV can go inside or outside, and you'll notice you've got this little feed hole for cables up here. So if you do choose to add a TV here, you can also mount it on the backside in the bedroom. And that's one of the other advantages to the swinging doors. If you want a bedroom TV, sliding pocket doors are going to hit that TV. Swinging doors will not. So you can actually have three TVs hooked up in this all at the same time, and they all connect to this AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player right here. Um, so you can have, like, truly central entertainment. Electric space heating fireplace with LED visuals in uh, a family class bunkhouse camper. I don't know if it's ever been done. L not like this. I mean, it's been done, but not to this volume. They've put this in, in so many things now. It's awesome. It's, it's, and for those who are, I don't need a fireplace. It's an electric heater, guys. And it, it cuts down the need to burn up your propane in the spring and the fall. Plus, it can just look cool. You can turn on just the lights and it just looks neat. And a little shoe garage down here just to help keep the clutter contained. Moving forward to the bedroom. Bedroom is simple. It's private, but it's effective. We've got a uh, the uh, you know dual side access bed here. Now, if you want to go to the little bit longer queen, you can just squeeze that thing in here. It can be done. Um, remember, both sides of the bed have dual sets of outlets, USB and household, so you can charge and run anything and everything on both sides. And again, uh, TV can be hooked up on the wall opposing to the bed. And, you know, I'm not saying this is ever the reason to buy any trailer, but this is this is nice, this little bedding ensemble. My video is going to cut out on me here, so give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan.